So let's talk about the latest here with the satellite loop. Here's that eye as the storm made landfall there on the southwestern tip of the island of Jamaica again around New Hope earlier this afternoon. And notice how the eye has become obscured. We've started to see it interact with the land. We've also seen that inner eye wall collapse and an outer eye wall form. And we can enhance the satellite view and see that a little bit more. Again, that well-formed eye, very symmetrical that came ashore in western Jamaica this afternoon. And now it is working its way here north of Jamaica and south of the island of Cuba. We'll give you a closer look again at that well-formed eye again, sort of that collapse of the eye, the interaction with the land and also uh, some internal changes within the storm as it worked its way here across Jamaica. But now we're starting to see that eye reform here south of Cuba and Cuba again is next in line for the path of the storm. So we'll widen it back out a bit. Hurricane Hunter aircraft have been out there investigating you can see they flew through the uh, north center of the storm, found a maximum sustained wind at a flight level of 97 miles per hour. That's sort of an average over 30 seconds and a flight level wind speed of 109. That's a 10 second average. So there's still a lot of strong winds here with Hurricane Melissa. Now, a couple of things about the Hurricane Hunter aircraft. Yesterday, one of the NOAA aircraft as they were flying into it. They didn't experience such turbulence. They had to turn around and go back. And then earlier today, one of the Air Force Hurricane Hunter aircraft, they went through the eye wall when it was very strong just before it made landfall and saw some of the worst turbulence that they had ever experienced. And there was actually some concern that the airplane suffered damage. They actually flew around the eye a few times and then went back to Curacao to inspect the plane. So again, we've had hundreds and hundreds of missions and it's very rare for Hurricane Hunter aircraft to have to turn around and abort a mission and with this storm being so strong we had two that had issues just over the day yesterday. So again another indication of just how strong Melissa was earlier today before it made landfall and yesterday as it was continuing to strengthen and rapidly develop.